Over the years, I've done a lot of buying and selling of tech, but today we're going to talk a little bit about how I make sure I'm finding the best deals on tech. I'm going to give you a couple of the strategies that I use to find the absolute best deals. The first thing I like to do whenever I'm looking for something is I actually just Google it and I add either used or open box to the end of it. And Google's shopping platform does a really great job at looking at other sites like Best Buy's open box section, or they'll also search for MPB. Sometimes you can see some B&H results, eBay results. And this is just a great way of finding retailers that you recognize that have the camera or the smart home gear that you recognize and are looking for, but at a more affordable price because someone returned it for whatever reason. So Google search is a great way to find deals. The next thing I like to do is actually just to go to those sites. I have my list of sites like B&H, Adorama. I'll do a lot of used buying on MPB as well. And also Amazon. We'll talk about that in a minute as well. And I like to go to those sites and actually go to their use section. And if there's a camera or a piece of gear that I'm looking for, I'll just type it in on all those websites and see if I can find any returns, used copies, or open box copies they're typically able to save about 15 to 20 percent of the original price the next thing i love to do is if you actually get on google you can search for amazon warehouse or i think they call it amazon resale sometimes that can take you to a special search on amazon where you can search for either a specific item or type of item like a smart bulb or a speaker or anything that you're looking for. And then you can look for ones that are customer returns. What I love about ordering from the Amazon open box section is Amazon does a great job at allowing you to return something if it's in bad condition or if you're just not satisfied with the purchase, where sometimes other used sites, they can be a little bit more finicky about what they're willing to take back or not. I've also had some really good luck with some of those purchases on Amazon. So I bought my second Lumix S52X. I found it on Amazon as used acceptable condition. And it was definitely a little bit of a risk, but I knew that if there was any issue with it, Amazon would always have my back with that purchase. So I ended up getting it for about $600 off of what the original price was. And whenever I got it, the only issue was it didn't come in the original box, still had all the original bubble wrap on everything. Everything was factory reset and it smelled just like any other new camera that I bought from Amazon or another site as well. So that was a way I was able to save a ton of money on my S52X just by going and looking at the Amazon used section. Another way you can save money is by going to sites like eBay that or Mercari that do auctions and let just any old average Joe off the side of the road like me sell stuff online. This is where you need to do a little bit more work to make sure you're buying from a reputable seller. So there's a lot of bigger companies that do sell on eBay. You can check their feedback. So if you're looking for a lens and a company has sold lenses before and their feedback says, I got the ones and it was scuffed and in bad shape. If there's a couple negative feedbacks, I usually try to stay away from the seller. If there's zero feedback, it could be a scam as well. So I typically stay away from those. But you're able to use the seller profiles as a way to just kind of weed out some of the worst sellers of eBay and to find good deals on items. You can also go onto the left side and you can click use or open box. That way you just automatically get rid of all the new options for a product, which can speed you up a little bit when you're looking to make your purchase. So love using eBay, but you do need to be careful. Just make sure you're buying from reputable sellers. Finally, the last place I like to buy from is Facebook Marketplace. And Facebook Marketplace can be a little bit iffy on some tech items because there are a lot of people out there who are trying to offload stuff that doesn't actually work. Or there's also a lot of scammers as well who are on Facebook because Facebook is kind of a wild west of being able to sell things. So a couple of years ago, I actually bought a camera and it was a Sony a7 IV and it was a really good deal. I think they were asking $1,700 for it and it was $2,400 or $2,500 new at the time. So it was probably a little bit too good of a deal to be true. But the person had their name on a piece of paper, the date, their location, and it matched up with the seller. So I thought it looks legit. And then they sent me a payment request through Facebook Pay, which I then paid with PayPal on Facebook. And then they never shipped me the camera. So the issue that I had there is I actually didn't pay with a Facebook Marketplace type account. So Facebook said they couldn't have my back because I paid it as friends and family. Fortunately, PayPal did have my back because I paid through PayPal credit, so they were able to actually get me a refund. But that was a lesson that I learned that you can't trust everyone on the internet, especially if there's no seller protection. So I always recommend, if you can, buy from a site like b and MPB, go on to Amazon and buy from the Amazon resale section from actual Amazon warehouse, and then make sure that any seller that you buy on Facebook, you're paying with an account this is actually going to be buyer protected on it. So that's just something to watch out for as well. That If something looks like it's too good of a deal to be true, 
it might be and you need to do some digging into the seller to make sure they are a legitimate seller. So I hope some of these strategies for saving a little bit of money on tech is helpful for you. Maybe you haven't heard of some of these, maybe you have. If you have any other strategies you like to use, leave a comment, I'd love to hear them. Also, you can find my website, adamtalks.tech, if you wanna drop me a message on there as well.